everyone, welcome back to my anime channel, Giz Anime, where we do everything anime related, whether that be figures, reactions, other collectibles, card games, and anything in between. In today's video, we will be doing a figure unboxing of this character, Velvet, from a video game called Odin Sphere. So I'm not really sure if that's considered anime, the character looks anime. Um... I picked this up at the Toy Base 10 store that I like to frequent occasionally. Um, he has really great stuff there. And I just thought it looked really interesting, so I picked it up. Um, it looks like it's an anime type game, so I do feel like it falls under the genre. Regardless of if it does or doesn't, though, I'm still going to unbox it because she looks really incredible. Yeah, that makes sense. So that said, let's get on to this review. Unbox her and see if she actually looks as good as I think she does. And I'll see you there. Alright, so first I'd like to start with the base. This really nice star-shaped pattern with almost like a marble type finish on the top of it. Uh, this looks really nice. Um, obviously it's not actual marble, but it still has that marble-like aesthetic. We've got this intricate carving pattern on the side of the star shape. Uh, kind of like some vines or whatnot along the edges of it. And then on each point of the star, we have like this little emblem on it. I've never played the Odin Spear game, but I'm pretty sure that this is probably something to do with the game itself. Uh, this might be like some kind of uh, sigil or whatnot or like a family crest. At least possibly. Maybe not. But regardless, the base still looks really nice. Alright, and then we have this thing called the Grave Ill. Gray White or Grave R-Y-L. So I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. But uh, this is her weapon. It's able to basically infinitely expand, kind of like Jin Mori's staff, almost, I would assume. And it is one of many, uh, I'm guessing, artifacts or weapons that are called ciphers. So, I've never played the game, don't really plan on playing it. So if there's anybody that sees this unboxing that can correct the pronunciation or just feels like expanding upon anything I state, that would be appreciated. It does look really nice. It has like this really translucent, bright, almost blood red crystal on each end of it with this extremely long chain that apparently just wraps around her arms. So it does, it kind of free floats on the figure itself. All right, and then starting with her legs, we have like these really nice black high heels on her feet that sit in the base here. She's wearing really long pantyhose or leggings with like this black pinstripe effect going down the sides of them. She's wearing what appears to be a red robe as well. She has this black sash type of thing going around her waist right above her midsection or below her midsection each of her fingernails is painted like almost a gold color she has on this a ring as well which is a nice attention piece of attention to detail uh just giving like the figure a little more to work with same thing on this hand with the gold plate or gold colored fingernail polish all right, and as I said, her weapon goes around her hands. On the box, they make it look like her weapon is kind of uh, stiff and will flail out as depicted in the picture here. And just kind of uh, go outside a bit. But as you can tell on the figure, they go all the way down and it just more or less hangs there. Uh, suspended uh, above her hands or on her hands actually so that's a little disappointing in a way and in a way it's not it's kind of cool because it gives 
you a little more flexibility as well because you're able to position her weapon in other places other than just her hand. You could wrap it around her waist. You could put one in her hand and have it go around her leg or whatnot. Like, you're able to do more, so that makes it maybe actually technically better Obvious. than if it was just a stationary piece. All right, but continuing on with the figure itself, uh, she has on, again, well, I called it a robe, but I guess it's more like just a half skirt. I'm really not sure what this would be referred to as. Half dress, whatever it is. It's a really bright red. Uh, you can see all kinds of like line marks going down it. Uh, creases to uh, indicate fluid motion. Like she's turning around about to attack somebody. Or the wind is just blowing this way. Right, so she has on this really frilly like shoulder piece too that expands, you know, over her shoulder past her arm. I'm not really sure what this is called, uh, but it does look really nice. And of course, one of the more standout features is this huge hat she's wearing. That's quite big. Uh, she is, from what I could tell, uh, adept at magic. I'm not sure how well versed she is though, but it has like these really cool stars going across it as well. And then on top of her head, she, and this little black piece here, she has these gold dots going across it, uh, like metal little beads. And then below each of them, you have a star as well. Here's a slightly better view of the front of her face with a star-shaped pattern on this black piece of cloth covering her head. Uh, I'd like to take note that she has really nice detail in her hair as well with the several strands that are going around it and it has like this really pearly effect going down it you have also a darker type blonde or almost brownish at the bottom due to shading and then it goes up into like a lighter blonde uh, this is not the lighting from the camera or the lights in the room this is actually just the shading effect on the figure itself which is really nice. Uh, you can see a little bit of attention to detail on the ear as well. It looks correct. It doesn't look like it was just kind of placed there, you know. Her eyes look incredibly detailed. I really like the nose, how small but petite your mouth looks. Uh, it, it looks right. Like everything... Again, never played the game, so I don't know how correct it looks compared to the game. Uh, but she does look incredible. Her face is really nicely detailed. Her eyes have like this really nice, bright, vivid purple hue to them. Uh, they've got like this almost lifelike quality with the paint job that they provided on her. Uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Nice. Uh, I can notice, uh, like, she has small earrings, I think, in the back. Okay, those aren't earrings. I guess that's just the hair. Wow, that really looks like earrings back there, though. In the back, I don't know if you can see. Kind of looks like a little loop right here. Right, but that is Velvet from Odin Sphere, the game. Uh, a couple things to note, uh... This piece of cloth on the bottom, it can move around a little bit, but I don't think it comes off of her at all. But yeah, one more time, that's her figure. Let me know what you all thought of it. Let me know if you've played the game. Uh, no Pokemon card game unboxings this week. Uh, just can't afford to keep buying them, the figures and other things. Uh, but for those that are interested in the Pokemon unboxings, I do have two of the Charizard UPCs coming. I also have a set of tents as well that are on the way. So I do have things in the works that we will be doing. I also have a Silver Tempest pre-order box. So we will also be opening that at some point in time on the channel as well. As just various other things as I'm able to afford them. <laughs> Uh, but with that said, I will see you all next time.